Hi everyone. Today I want to show you how you can use Mixamo to add complexity to your scenes. First I will show you how you can extend an animation, and then how to combine several animations inside Cinema 4D. So first here, I have my character. Let's export it as FBX. Go to File, Export, FBX. Choose the 2012 format which is more compatible with Mixamo. You can also check selection only if you want our selecting object only. But here we just have our astronaut in the scene so we don't need to check this. Now go to Mixamo.com and upload your FBX file. Let's drag and drop the file here. Hit next. And now we have to place the markers. Once it's done, hit next. And now Mixamo is going to rig our character automatically. Okay, so now that the character is rigged, let's add an animation to it. Go to the search tab here and type walk. Choose this one. Check in place box here. So it's easier to work with later. Download the animation and be careful with the frames you're using here. It all depends on the project you're working with. So if we go back to Cinema 4D and hold down the Control plus D keys, in the Project tab you can change the FPS here. Let's make this one 24 frames per second. Also, don't forget to change here as well on the Render Settings tab, Output, Frame Rate, put 24. Let's merge the file we just downloaded by holding down Shift and drag it onto our scene. Now we have to replace all the materials, so replace the visor here with this one and same goes for the rest. So holding down the ALT key and drag the material here. Now we can delete the original character. So now if I click play here, you can see that the animation is playing. The only issue here is that he only does one loop of his walk cycle. Let's group the mesh and the rig by holding the ALT key plus G. If I middle click this group, go to the timeline. Mine is here, but you can find it here under Window Timeline. Click on the Key tab here and select Cycle. And just put 20 for example. Extend the timeline here. So now we've looped the animation. Now let's add a keyframe on the first frame. Go further. Move the astronaut forward and add another keyframe. I've no idea at this point how far I need to move him in order for his animation to line up. Make sure the keyframes are linear by clicking this icon here. So as you can see we need to go faster. So let's move these keyframe to the left here. Now we can zoom to see better what we do. Okay, now we have something that I like. Now I want to show you how you can blend several animations together. Let's say I want the character to walk, then stop and make a hip-hop dance. Let's download this. Then I will type, stop. and find this animation here, download this one as well. Finally, let's download the hip hop dance. Start fresh with a new project. First we need to make sure that our project is in 24 FPS. So hold down Ctrl plus D and in the project settings change the FPS to 24. Do the same here on the render settings, frame rate. Now grab all the animation, hold down shift and drag them on our scene here. Let me add the textures.
Let's focus on the walking guys first. So I'm gonna name everything and only show the walking animation. So if I select the walk here and go to Animate tab and choose Add Motion Clip, click OK. So now we don't have keyframe anymore for this walk animation, but the guy is still moving thanks to this tag here. Click on Open in Timeline here, and now we can see our clip. Now if I want to loop the animation, we can go to the Basic tab here and check the relative loop here and add how many loops we need. All right, perfect. Now go to stop walking animation. Go to animate, add motion clip, hit okay. Now we have a new motion clip here on our timeline. We can hide our character here. And since it's in a clip, it will reappear once we add the clip to the timeline. So let's add it to the clip here. Overlap it by one frame. If I go between the two animations, it's going to jump back to the beginning. So let's create an object pivot here. Select the clip, go to the advanced tab here and click on create pivot. Now hit the W key to be in world coordinate mode and move the pivot forward till the end of the walk animation. As you can see, there is a jump, so to fix it, we need to overlap the two clips even more, and this will create a fade in between the animations. Now we have a speed issue, so we need to overlap more. You have to play with the pivot position in the overlap. It's not perfect, so we have to cut a bit of the animation by right-clicking. Cut and choose where you want to cut. Let's cut here. Right-click, disable the cut tool and delete this part. Now let's play with blend between the animations and the pivot position to have something good here. So it's not perfect but you can spend some more time to have a better cut than mine. Now let's add the last animation. This one will be easier since our character is stopped already. Select the animation, go to animate, add motion clip, hit okay. Add the clip to the timeline, create a pivot. Now blend the two animations. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you have learned something today and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. See you on the next video.